Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, let's talk about the big weather story. No doubt, Hurricane Milton spinning out there in the Gulf of Mexico, immediately off to the west-northwest of the Yucatan Peninsula right there. And notice that I look how small that thing is. It's just a, a pinpoint right now in this massive storm structure. Very concentric as well. It's a satellite signature of a very, very powerful hurricane. Winds right now, max sustained winds, 180 miles an hour. Not the entire storm. It's just around the eye where you pick up those strongest winds, the eye wall. Well, this thing is moving off to the east at 10 miles an hour. The latest track will take it kind of skirting the Yucatan Peninsula and then curving more off to the northeast towards the western coastline of Florida later Wednesday, sometime Wednesday evening between like 8 o'clock and midnight, expected landfall. Hurricane Center, bullseye is right around the St. Petersburg area at that time. It's not expected to be as strong when it makes landfall but still a powerful hurricane. We're talking a major hurricane. Winds at least 125, gust to 155. This is gonna be a mess for the state of Florida. Destructive winds, flooding rains, isolated tornadoes, a surge that could be upwards of 12 feet from the eye itself in St. Petersburg and the Tampa area and points off to the south. In addition, large destructive waves. Now after landfall, the remnants of the storm, still likely a hurricane, moving over Orlando and then the Cape Canaveral area late Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And I'll definitely keep you posted on that storm's progress. All right, around here, boy, picture perfect, right? You couldn't ask for better weather. Bright sunshine, low humidity, comfortable temperatures, 73 and 55 the extremes today. We're 71 right now, humidity nice and low, a north-northeasterly breeze, 5 to 10. We have upper 60s and low 70s all across the viewing area at this time. The next 12 hours, the 70s, which we have now, will quickly fade into the 60s and 50s overnight tonight. Matter of fact, most spots in the morning will be in the 40s. Look at that quiet weather pattern. It continues. A cold front moved through last night, sending our temperatures downwards from what we had yesterday. High pressure building in, and when you wake up in the morning, folks, Everybody will be in the 40s, the low, the middle 40s in the outline regions to around 49 here in town. And by late afternoon tomorrow, picture perfect, lower 70s expected with 74 right here in the metro. Here's your forecast now. Clear, quiet, cool, 60s back into the 50s. Your detailed 12-hour forecast tomorrow. Bright sunshine. We start out at 49 early. We will climb to 66 by lunch hour. Late day highs around 74. And look at that seven day forecast, Vicki. It stays wonderful with mid 70s the rest of the work week, 40s and 50s at night. We warm into the 80s for the weekend and then cool off again Monday of next week. Great weather on the way around Looks here. Gorgeous. Yeah. Like that. Thank you, Jay.